If you need coins for Madden 21, go to my sponsor, x5p.com. They have the cheapest and most reliable coins online, and use my code WIN, W-I-N, at checkout to save 5% off your order. Link in the description. Today we've got part three of our tight offset mini series, and again, it's going to be a full mini scheme based on the Packers offense, so it's actually a, kind of a mini Packers ebook, but we're starting with tight offset, and we're on setup and play number three, and today we're going to talk specifically about beating zone coverages and quick snapping zone coverages, and a really great play that doesn't require Hot Route Master, or any adjustments for that matter, and it really dominates and is going to frustrate your opponent if they're sitting in a lot of zone. So, if you're new to the channel and you like content like this, like, comment, consider subscribing, love to have you as part of the channel. But anyway, with that said, let's jump into the video. Okay, today we're going to look at, and this is part three of the mini series, guys. Uh, go back and watch part one and part two. Those are really bomb plays. They go for really big yardage. Today we're going to be talking a little, little bit more of a check down play. First thing I want to talk about, though, is the package. Again, I switched over to HB1. That puts four wide receivers on the field, and we're going to be doing stick and out for our play today. So I'm going to start against cover three. We'll then go to cover two, man, and cover four. And again, I'm going to go pretty rapidly through this because I've got a lot to talk about, and I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. So if you just snap this play, you've got a problem. You've got two routes standing right next to each other in the middle of the field. So that just doesn't work, especially for a play that's designed to be a spacing play. You don't want two people standing next to each other. So let's just show this again here. You can see that these two routes literally standing a yard or two apart from each other. Not going to work. That's not, that's not the optimal spacing. So what we're going to do to make this play a little bit better is we're going to motion out X. And we're going to snap it right before he sets. And you're going to see that now we've got great spacing. We've got a low ball throw. And again, if you guys don't know how to low ball, hold L trigger on Xbox or L2 on PlayStation. And then the icon you want to throw it to and it'll low ball it. And what that's going to do is it's going to provide you a great opportunity to complete passes that you wouldn't think would be easily easy completions. All three of these wide receivers, get to the third one here, here we go, are very open if you low ball. So this play, and you can have this little sideline route too, it's not real great, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but um, this play really, really good uh, for quick snapping people who are playing a lot of zone, and especially players who are running cover three or cover four. Now, if they're coming out in cover two, which we'll cover in a second, uh, you might want to allow them to go ahead and double flat because you're almost always going to see somebody running a cover two with a double flat out there. And what I mean by that is they're going to have a curl flat and they're going to have a cloud flat, soft squat, or hard flat out there as well. But you can see every one of these open, you can low ball them, and it's just very, very annoying to deal with if you just mix this in and just come out, motion out X, and snap it. You're going to see RB here. Uh, it's fine. It just doesn't get out there very quick. It's more of a pull route. It's designed to pull off um, one of the cloud flats or hard flats on the right side of the field there. So again, motion out X, and you can low ball this to any three of those wide receivers. A is open here, and A is most likely going to be guarded by the user, but again, it is wide open if, you, if the user runs out to one of the edges. So let's go to cover two now, and cover two Again, if they just run cover two stock and the shade underneath, it's going to do a really good job against this play. So we're really focusing this play against cover three and cover four. But if they are double flatting, it's going to be very, very open and you're going to have this all day. So if I just snap this here, you're going to see it does a really good job. And A is technically open there, but you're going to have a user there that's going to probably guard that route. So unless you know they're double flatting, you don't really want to run this against cover two. But this is one of those plays, and this whole scheme in general is designed to, and you can maybe throw that route right there, you can maybe throw this route too. Um, it's designed to be really, really good without needing a hot route master, and you can see this guy's completely boxed up, covered completely. But we want to attack these areas of the field against the cover two, and most of the zones in a cover two are very, very short. Again, this is an area we can attack normally. But what, what we have on this play is typically designed to be to cover three and cover four. I can't emphasize that enough. If they're running cover two, we've got lots of other plays. Play number one in this series definitely dominates cover two. So go back and take a look at that if you're running into somebody who's running a lot of cover two against you. But you can take this little check down to the sideline if they don't have a hard flat out there. Uh, but again, not the greatest cover two play. Uh, let's go into new play and let's run against man. So you might think man is going to absolutely box this up too. Well... 
not if they're not running underneath coverage. So if they're running underneath coverage, again, you don't want to run this play. Again, cover three, cover four. I'm going to emphasize it again. Uh, but if they are just running man and they're not shading underneath, this actually works very, very well. And the B route is just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, you're going to have that with a low ball every single time against man that's not shaded underneath. And we've got lots of plays coming up. Tomorrow is going to be a great man-beating play that's not going to allow them to shade underneath against you. But this little uh, combo here with X and B is very, very good against man coverage if they're not shading underneath. This guy is pulling this guy away. You can see this B route is just perfect. A is bagged. He's going to be bagged anyway because you're going to have the user there. And then this route also open against man for a low ball. Now, the one on the left, this X route, can get guarded when even when they're not running um, shaded underneath. Actually, here's a good example right here. So a perfect timed example. Um, it can get guarded, but the B route will always get open when they run man coverage and they don't shade underneath. It, it is a very, very good man beating route. So that's really man. And there's not a whole lot to, you know, kind of the bells and whistles of it. You're really just making to, you're looking to come out, make a quick read, throw the low ball. The B route is probably your best route against any defense. Uh, but it, it is just a very, very good spacing play. So let's change over now to cover four. Now, this is also going to dominate cover four. If you've got somebody who's coming out in cover four quarters or whatever, this is going to absolutely dominate them, or maybe they're running a match. This works just as well against match as it does against cover four. And again, you're just going to motion that guy out, and you're going to have A, B, and X wide open against cover four. And again, it's a six-yard pass, but it gains like eight, nine, ten yards. And it's very, very consistent. So it's one of those things that, hey, we're not going to try to bomb them, but we're going to have lots of options to gain easy 7 to 10 yards every single time they run a cover 4. Now, you have to be comfortable with just taking your checkdowns. If they're running a cover 4, they're trying to bait you in throwing a ball deep. And if you're willing to take the end, look at those. They're all three wide open for a low ball. You're going to have a really nice game no matter what you do here. And it's impossible for a user to get to all three of those, even two of them. Uh, so that's what that's what the purpose of this is. It just dominates uh, coverages that have lots of people playing deep, and it's absolutely something you need to mix into your scheme when you're running up against somebody who's running a lot of cover four, a lot of cover three, or even a lot of match, and you're going to have all day to just be able to dink and dunk down the field. And again, it's like having a seven to ten yard run every single time that you're gonna have open and be able to continue to move down the field. So can't stress it enough, definitely mix this play into your scheme, especially this Packers mini scheme slash ebook. Uh, I love this play, especially as a mix in play. You're not gonna run this every down, obviously, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That's part three, part four tomorrow, gonna to be man beating. So like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell and see you tomorrow.